I'm going to be seasick. We're rubbing. So we're going so much. Okay, so the, this is uh, the lakeshore um, in Toronto, and as I pan around, uh, there are some small islands which are right off the um, the southern. I wouldn't you wouldn't all, all call it a tip. You call it the southern shore of Toronto. Um, so over there, um, you might be able to tell like this. There's like a little marina there, and supposedly there's an amu amusement park there as well. Um, there are excursion buses. Uh, which you can see there on, on the left hand side uh, but there's also water taxis going around here and as we pan around uh, there's obviously um, cruises going out I don't know anything about those cruises whether they're um, you know, for, for tourists or whether they're for, you know, for evening entertainment type things and just beyond the back side of that is uh, Billy Bishop Airport which is actually um, an airport with a lot of jet traffic as well What the hell how this happens, but this is Niagara Falls. We're now leaving the Bullshit Falls. Everyone's absolutely soaked. The last time I was here, 2007, I shot a similar video. I like to think that with the, in with the increases in technology, I can record this better on a phone than previously on a, on a Canon Sure Shot digital camera. So a bit of an impromptu video here. Um, I'm actually outside of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, it's due to shut at five o'clock and the current time is about six minutes too. So I've gone in, did all the, the plaques, all the bits and pieces that I could realistically do within about two and a half hours because we have had a bit of a di difficult day, not so much with traveling, but with phone connections and getting directions and all that type of stuff. Anyway, the weather's turned out to be pretty good. Uh, I've been in the shop. This is hey, a little bit of an impromptu walk, uh, just around the back of the museum as well. The town is extremely chilled, as you would probably expect, particularly at this time of day, and also particularly at this time of year, when we don't actually have the, the usual throng of summer tourists. So, these are some of the fairly well-known um, statues uh, which are outside of the um, of the uh, Hall of Fame itself. So all the buildings that you're seeing in the background of the statues are all part of it. So there's lots of uh, photographs 
which will be uploaded and uh, again all very interesting particularly if you are like me a bit of a baseball aficionado So after a bit of a, an unscheduled day, where we would have gone out a bit earlier, but unfortunately Karen's not feeling that well, I've managed to run a couple of errands in the morning, and we're now down to half past three in the afternoon. I've just had a steady meander through the financial district, including going to Battery Park, and uh, you know, past uh, Wall Street, and I've now come down to the 9-11 Memorial. Now this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, totally unique building. It's called the Oculus. Underneath there's a train station and shopping. And also going up there is the Freedom Tower. So I'm all at the 9-11 Memorial. Some impromptu video here. I'm up the World Trade Center One Tower, which is the tallest building in New York, panning over the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges. And um, in Brooklyn and in the background Bronx, obviously lower Manhattan here as well. Um, I will be taking a couple of videos because this is pretty much on the north west side, and you've got a shot there looking back towards the Empire State Central Park. And a lot of other buildings now starting to draw off the, uh, you know, the um, legendary Empire State. Um, so here we go, and I'll give you a little bit more commentary about, the, about this site on the next shot. So the second part of the video, and by the way it's 4.30 local time, uh, that's Brooklyn in the distance, looking well towards um, Long Island. And as we pan around, you can see how Brooklyn is pretty pretty flat, certainly compared to Manhattan. Um, that's Coney Island where you start to see some, uh, some more high-rise building. It's the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, as we pan around, so it's the main gateway into New York Harbour itself. And as I just step over and pan around a little bit more, you can see Liberty Island there in the foreground, and alongside of it is Ellis Island. So this is video number three. Unfortunately, I'm shooting it a little bit blind uh, because of the sun coming into me. I can't actually see what, what's on my screen. But as I pan around, this is Newark in the foreground. Um, in the first part of the picture you've seen Liberty Island and Ellis Island. So this is Newark, which is the New Jersey side of the river. Um, my question that I asked, this building was actually is actually on the footprint of a building which is called uh, World Trade Center 9, which was a, a low-story a low US customs house. This building was... Uh, evacuated and destroyed um, as a result of the of the attacks so this so luckily and thankfully this building is not a memorial nobody died on this site but obviously they had the site vacant and decided to build this uh, wonderful building here instead so this is the, the final bit of video again another shot there of the New Jersey shoreline just want to pan down, you can see a little bit more of the perspective of what you're seeing in Manhattan. Stunned to see a couple of little baseball uh, fields down there. There's some sort of a soccer field up there in the, in the centre of the picture now. And I see, as I just step over, you start to see, and I'll zoom in here, you start to see the, um, the new buildings all around the, um, the area, which would be roughly where. Uh, Central Park is as well. And of course, beyond there, you've got Upper Manhattan, better known as Harlem. Now, this is somewhere that I've been before. So I've just walked out of the one uh, World Trade Center Observatory, 
We're into this concourse now, which is for a place called the Oculus. And all these people, they're commuting. They're basically leaving work. And they're walking on this concourse to get to all the train platforms. Now, I don't particularly know which train platform or the name of the train station is, but it's just a different side. So, still in the Oculus, this is just uh, a small video. Uh, I haven't gone down a, a level. Well, stations are stations, but I can't help thinking this is a lot cleaner than uh, somewhere like Waterloo or Euston or King's Cross, Liverpool Street, you name any other station in the UK. Okay. <laughs> Oculus video part three. As as you can tell, I've walked just a few hundred yards. And this place is certainly unique. I managed to extricate myself out of the throng of determined commuters, and all they want to do is get home. Of course, round here is retail and eateries but certainly fantastic to come to this place so this is the, the second full day this is the Thursday uh, what we've just done we've just gone to the swing at Pier 35 and we're just walking down to see a couple of landmarks in lower Manhattan and we're going to a place called Demonico's but we've actually stumbled across a very famous hotel, certainly for movie, movie lore. Uh, this is called The Continental, and this is in John Wick. Right. This is a bit of a surprise in that what we've done, we've come down to a place called Greenpoint. Now, if the video's a little bit blurry, let me just... Uh, pan out and it's just sharpen it up. Yeah, we come down to this place called Greenpoint. Uh, a couple of bars, all right, and two blocks away from the bar is this little park, and it's a little gem. It's the type of place that you won't see any tourists, it's all gonna be locals, and everybody's heard me speak, so they all turn around, oh, there's an English accent. And anyway, this little jetty, it juts out probably about 100 yards out into the uh, East River. And you've got a fantastic view of the base. So there we are looking over towards um, Brooklyn and the bridges there. I'll zoom in again. And as we pan around again, you've got the Manhattan skyline just as the sun is setting there. So there's the uh, World Trade Center 1. Some sort of old power station there. I haven't picked out the... Uh, UN building yet, but I think we're going to be coming around to as I pan back around, and you'll see that there's the uh, Empire State Building there, uh, on the, just on the uh, right hand side there, as we pan around a little bit more, there's some Chrysler Building there as well, so again, really an unexpected gem. Are on a pier at Coney Island, so just panning around. Um, 
there's a lot of people here. It's a very good place to just come and relax and um, just have a nice leisurely Sunday morning, which, it, which is what it is here. You can see the weather is absolutely stunning. You can imagine what this, like, what this place would be like during the height of summer, uh, especially with the, uh, all the rides over there, which are open. Um, but obviously during the height of the summer, there's going to be a lot of kids there, a lot of noise, a lot of excitement, as, as you can see. So just panning around for the rest of the, uh, the beach. So far, nice down here.